resolved to have the Governor Honorable Kawira Mwangaza be removed from office by impeachment and that uh, the Senate on Tuesday resolved to have this matter be heard and determined at the plenary sitting or the plenary way. Remember the Senate last week found itself a bit sharply divided on how to, or rather the best approach uh, to hear and determine this case and the majority of the numbers resolved to have uh, the matter be heard and determined at uh, the plenary sitting. A number of impeachment um, hearings that uh, have, been, have taken place at uh, the Senate is that uh, have uh, been heard and determined at a committee uh, level of 11 members, but this was not agreed upon last week when they were looking at the best approach to look at this matter, and the matter was resolved to be heard at uh, the plenary. Uh, so this marks the first sitting and first day to hear the impeachment uh, proposal as forwarded to the Senate. And uh, this morning, the House was uh, to sit, get a communication from the Speaker on the, on, and guide them on how to go about uh, the case. Then the members were to proceed on a pre-hearing meeting or rather retreat on a pre-hearing meeting in a closed door session, then resume the sittings um, and be open to the public at around 11 a.m. So up until now, the chair or rather the speaker has taken the seat. A few members are in the chambers, but the quorum, the quorum is the elephant in the house. It has not been achieved yet. 15 members have not been able to make their way to the chambers to enable the House to commence its business. Of course, we can say that is paralyzing the House business this morning. And of course, we'll be waiting to see whether the quorum is achieved. If uh, this uh, quorum uh, bell that is currently underway, it is another 10-minute quorum bell that is underway. It's a, it's a 10 minute. If uh, uh, the number is not achieved, at the lapse of this 10 minutes, then it will be a, a cumulative of 30 minutes of waiting for the senators to make their way to the chambers for uh, this uh, uh, sitting. Is it because it is a chilly morning, or maybe they uh, thought that uh, the sitting will start at 9.30? We will be waiting to see how that uh, pans out. Uh, but as it is, is that uh, uh, today's morning sitting was uh, uh, the a commencement or mark the beginning of the impeachment hearing of uh, the governor of Meru. This is Honorable Kawira Mwangaza, having uh, been accused of sub seven charges by uh, the county assembly of Meru and forwarded these charges and its resolution to the Senate to have the matter investigated and determined. Seven charges facing the governor Earlier on, we looked at four charges. The fifth charge is that the governor is accused of contempt of court. She's said to have grossly violated Article 10 and 73 of the Constitution. Uh, Section 7 of the Leadership and Integrity Act and Section 10 of the Public Officers Ethics Act by engaging in a contemptuous, stubborn refusal to obey lawful court orders. Charge number six that the governor is accused of is that um, illegally naming a public road after husband. Uh, uh, this includes grossly violate, violated articles 10 and 73 of the Constitution and sections 7 and 11, 1C of the Meru County Owners and Awards Act 2018 by naming a public road after her husband without following the applicable statutory procedures. The last charge that the governor is being accused of is the contempt of the assembly. She is said to have refused to honor summons from the county assembly's sectoral committee on justice, legal affairs, and cohesion to answer questions related to the impeachment motion, also directed her chief of staff to send a contemptuous letter to the assembly in response to the summons for her to appear before the sectoral committee. 
and through the CECM Finance. This is uh, the uh, Minister of Finance at the county uh, at the county level, and the county secretary refused to furnish documents to the assembly on the grounds that an audit process was underway and that the matters raised by the assembly were subjudice. Uh, these are some of uh, the uh, particulars within the seven charges that the governor is accused of or is facing, and that uh, the Senate at the plenary uh, sitting is uh, expected to investigate, uh, scrutinize, and make a decision on whether these accusations that have been uh, uh, accused or rather that have been leveled against the governor by the county assembly will be substantiated or not. But remember, uh, these uh, accusations will be heard and determined at uh, the plenary sitting, or rather the plenary sitting way. On Saturday, the two parties, the, the two sides, forwarded. It was the last day for the two parties to be able to forward their submissions to the Senate. All right. Those are uh, more members. That is the Deputy uh, Speaker of the Senate, Honorable Kathuri Murungi, of course, walking in and followed uh, by uh, various members. Hopefully that the number this time round will uh, be achieved. The time now is 9.33. And we can see the members walking in in numbers. Uh -huh. And in a few minutes, of course, we are hoping that uh, uh, the Sergeant Terms will, you know, indicate to us or rather to the speaker that finally the quorum has uh, been achieved. Nyeri, Senator, they are walking in with the uh, majority leader, uh, Honorable Aaron Chariot, you see. So the quorum has been achieved. The quorum has been achieved finally at 9.33. So allow me to hand you over to this live broadcast. Good morning. Much later. Kindly take your seats. Honorable Senator's order, Senator Ledama, kindly take your seat. Majority, majority leader. Majority leader. You should be helping the chair to bring calm in the, in the house. The clerk, you may proceed to call the first order. Order number one, communication from the chair. Now, honorable senators, you will recall that at the sitting of the Senate held on Tuesday, on Thursday, 2nd November 2023, I appointed Tuesday 7th and Wednesday 8th November 2023 as the days when the Senate will hear the charges for the proposed removal from office by impeachment of Honorable Kawira Mwangaza, the governor of Meru County. Subsequently, a procedural motion for the alteration of the sitting time of the Senate for Tuesday 7th and Wednesday 8th November 2023 to facilitate the impeachment hearing again as the governor of Meru County was considered and approved by the Senate on Thursday 2nd November 2023. Consequently, a hearing program has been prepared and appended to today's order paper. Honorable Senators, as is the tradition and in line with the schedule of activities for an impeachment hearing and plenary, the Senate will hold a closed preparatory session to discuss the management of the investigation. This is aimed at ensuring that the process is conducted seamlessly and concluded timeously, in line with the requirements set out under the County Governments Act and the Senate standing orders. I now therefore direct that all members of public, including the media, to withdraw from the galleries and any form of bro broadcast from the chamber to cease forthwith. The open session and hearing will thereafter commence at 11 a.m. as per the hearing program. I thank you.
Well, as I had indicated earlier, is that uh, the speaker wants to make a communication to the senators, uh, guiding them on how the process will be going, and that communication has been made. Then uh, the members we are, are retreating to a pre-hearing uh, session. Uh, this is a closed session, so they will be done by 11. It will be open to the public at 11 a.m. Allow me to hand it back to our studios in KBC for normal programming. But at 11, we shall be back with the proceedings over the Senate on this day. Good morning.